So today, mi gente, we have somebody revisiting the channel. This is the second time I cut Ant. It's almost like he's growing through the channel. Ant, you're growing through the channel, pa. Y este... Mira esto. Look, look. Look, guys. Mira. Come here. So, look. Ant, even though it's been a few months since we've seen Ant, um, he still has a pretty much the same struggle, which is, you know, the corners. And because he's still struggling with it, you know, he's come to accept the fact that this is what he's gonna have to deal with for the rest of his life. So rather than to battle this thing, he's going to embrace it. He's embracing it. It's been a while now since I've recorded this video, but just know it is what it is with Ant. And he's gonna enjoy the rest of his hair as long as he can. He's not trying to have it completely bald. He tried it. He doesn't like it. You know, there's a lot of people in the comment section. Yo, if I was there, if I was there, I would just chop it off. Okay, okay, papa, look, papa, papa. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But, uh, pero, pero, aunt, he doesn't want to do that, okay? He doesn't want to do that. And because he doesn't want to do that, we're going to have to figure out what it is that we have to do for him here. Now, I hope you guys are up for a, a bit of a ride. It's a lot going on in my head and in my hands on ant. That doesn't make sense. But all right, boys and girls, here we are. Here's the truth behind what's under the hair. Besides what's going on on top, this is what's going on on his face. He so happened to grow it out. A little bit more on the face the facial hair is grown out in comparison to the first time and he's he's ready look at the smile on that man he's ready i didn't really follow through with the first option but i went ahead and tried it and for some reason i'm thinking oh let me add some texture to the length and then somehow you know we could add some volume to it and maybe even go for a crop top type of look and um you know i'm i'm trying I'm attempting to go ahead and add some texture and you know even add a little clay to that thing. One, Dolly. Okay, look. So we're back at it. What are we back with? The number three. We never used it before, but we're still back at it. I don't know why in the world I came with a number four after the number three, but I'm assuming that I'm trying to meet in the middle in between the five and the three, and I just went ahead and slipped the four in there. And uh, I'm keeping it dark around the ridge. I didn't cut too much from the top, right? Because he wanted to keep that length. And that's why I went ahead and ran the five first to keep it nice and bulky. I didn't want to go for a full hawk type of look. I want to keep it a little bit, you know, squared on on the shape. You know what I'm saying? Because if you if you cut too much from the from the side from the ridge, it's gonna look more of a round look. It's gonna give more of a round look. So after I did that, I went ahead and started structuring out what was going to become the taper. Okay. Now let me tell you something about tapers with fonts okay tapers with fonts like a lot of things when it comes to haircuts are pretty pretty um uh i don't want to say conservative i don't want to say conservative but i'm just going to say conservative uh they're a little bit conservative they're a little bit more safer okay but see ant he's not about that safe stuff Ant's a little bit more risque so as i'm structuring out the taper it already seemed to me like it was a high taper 
and I'm going at it, you know, I'm, I'm using the one and a halves. I'm starting to the fade. I'm starting to fade out with the with that with the no blade all the way open. I'm going through the regular day to day tapers here, tapers there routine. And after that, I come to realize that it might not be enough for ants. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that as we get to that. But just understand that it wasn't enough. And when it's not enough, you need to ask yourself as the barber, the person that's taking care of the client, am I gonna fix this? Or am I gonna just leave it as is and you know finesse and talk my way out of it and get the client to just come back the next time? You know, I think I think this is pretty, you know, all jokes to the side, all jokes to the side. I think it is necessary to know, OK, if this is not what the client wants, let me fix it now. Let me let me do right by the client. Let me do the right thing. You know, sometimes doing the right thing is not always the easiest thing. But if you if you don't do it, one thing is for sure, you are letting yourself you are selling out. You're you're lowering the standard you are you are accepting a lesser version of yourself and when you do that you create this habit right this habit of oh i'm just gonna take these shortcuts and what and you know and, and by shortcuts i mean like you're not doing you're not going the extra mile right and when you do that that's when you start diminishing in, in, in some in some of the, the quality so you don't do that you 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 make sure you do right by your client you make sure that throughout the haircut you are showing them what's going on you know sometimes some of us out there you know we don't want to show the client the haircut we don't want to show the, the the client the mirror we don't want to really even we don't want to share the we, th there's been times where i have literally cut the client the whole time without facing the mirror because of how paranoid i would get on the reaction i would think that the client would even like what they're about to see which doesn't really make sense because why would you wait the whole time you know why would you wait the whole time to do a haircut that the client could potentially that the client could why would you do a haircut that the client could potentially why would you do a haircut that the client would potentially why would you do a haircut that the client could potentially why would you do a haircut that the client could why would you do a haircut that the client could potentially why can I say potentially? Potentially. Why would you do a haircut that the client could potentially? <laughs> I did it again. You know what I mean? Damn it. Why would you? <laughs> why would you do a full haircut that a client could possibly? Huh? I'm just gonna go with possibly. Otherwise, we're gonna be here all night because it's not coming out. This is progress, and this is where you are. And the more you sell yourself out and lower that standard, progress gets further and further. Look, you can't even see progress no more. Okay, here we go with the number two, boys and girls. See, down here in Florida, down here in Florida, the tape is a little bit different, you know? I feel like, you know, when you think of somebody that could live in New York, for example, and they ask for a taper, I feel like people in New York, the tapers are a little bit lower. Down here in Florida, they go, we we go, we go pretty high. And you know, there's there's times where I feel I don't really get a lot of people that request high tapers, like true high tapers. See in Cali, you know what? Shout out to Cali, because Cali goes pretty high with the tapers too. But yeah. I, this night and even called me out on it he was like look I, I've, I've i've been noticing from afar i'm saying noticing from afar what you mean i just been noticing you know your tape was a little low i'm like whoa whoa you noticing you didn't even tell me look shout outs to all the barbers that work together that go off on each other by the way i think that is necessary that in a shop you're able to have a flexibility with each other and you're able to kind of go off on each other at times in a good healthy way obviously but in in our shop we're pretty you know we, we're, we're pretty vicious with how we interact with each other respectful it's respectful but we go off it's vicious especially on saturdays but for a shop that's pretty vicious 
I would expect for somebody to tell me that my tables are a little bit too low, even when they're supposed to be high. I'm just saying, bro, it's, it's healthy. Help me. I want to know when I can improve on things. So if you ever so happen to see that somebody you work with could has room for improvement, regardless of how, regardless of what they say, I think you should still say it. Maybe pull them to the side, let them know. In this in, in, in this particular situation, he let me know while I was cutting his hair, which is a great time to let a barber that you work with know what's up. Great time to let me know if uh, my trimmers are off. If I'm heavy handed, if, uh, if, if, you know, when I'm folding your ear, does that hurt? But you get what I'm saying. It's necessary to let the person, it's necessary to learn how to improve by giving constructive criticism. I hope that makes sense. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it did. It made sense to me just now. And that's enough. Hopefully it makes sense to you. something you gotta love doing beards i if, if there's anything that doesn't stress me like fades do because fades stress me a lot i hope you understand that but when it comes to a beard man there's nothing more rewarding than doing a good beard see i'm lacking on the beard so i live through through the ones that have the the nice ones you know what i'm saying so aunt mi gente i'm living through you aunt i'm living through you you have a nicer beard so i'm making sure that you look as presentable as possible. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I'm starting right here first and I'm connecting it. I'm, I'm curving it nice. It's a nice little smooth curve right there that goes into the mustache. He doesn't want to do much to the mustache. He wants to keep it as nice and natural as possible. He gets really irritated when you get too low on it. So, and, and I know exactly what he means because your boy, I go through it too. I can't even get a razor on my mustache. The most you're getting out of me is the trimmers. Look at how it's coming together. Look at that. Look at how it's coming together. And he's feeling it. Look at that. My man Ant is ready to turn up. That is the face of a man that wants to turn up. That is the face of a man that's in love with his beard. Because you know, when, you, when you're when lacking up here, this, mi gente, is gonna bring it back. This will take attention away from what's going on on the top. Guaranteed. I tell my, look, I got clients that 
true like have real thinning issues on top they are either real thin or have nothing have a whole lot on the sides nothing on the top and i will tell you after i cut you for a while though we got to establish a relationship but i will tell you look you got you you got to grow your beard out let's work on this take away from this and look at what i'm doing right now we've moved we have pushed that taper up because I went ahead and showed it to Ant and Ant said, look, that ain't good enough. God, you got to love people that push you. And it's annoying sometimes. Sometimes you want to just like, yo, more? And it gets like that. It gets like that, but it's okay. It's okay. Let your client push you because by pushing you, it pushes you up. Unless you let that push you down. See, you don't want to be down on yourself. Because when you're down on yourself, mi gente, you don't want to prove. You plateau. You stagnate. So don't do that. Appreciate the ants in your life. J hits for the drop of bass. I don't know guys i feel like this second run around this second attempt at recording and sharing with you guys how ant is doing how ant is looking even though like right now he's his hair is a little bit longer and he's gone he's going for the wavy look but it's pretty similar to this and i gotta say man like this this hair you know it's very it's very uh tricky at times i would i would say i would say that this hair right here is one of my favorites to fade but when you're dealing with a client that's standing on top, regardless of whatever grain of hair it is, it's hard in the sense like, damn, he he doesn't have much to work with. You gotta make every piece of hair count. You gotta be a little bit more careful, boys and girls. So anyways, that's neither here nor there. Ant, thank you for letting me cut your hair. Mi gente, I am tired, but I'm on a... I'm on the street right now, so I gotta keep on. So me, mi gente, hasta la próxima. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Racata that like button. Y me fui porque estoy cansado. Estoy cansado. Ya, ya suficiente. Ya, me fui. Hey Toby, ring, ring the corny alert. Ring, ring it right there. Ring it. Ahí mismo. Okay.